Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Madeline and today I wanted to talk shopping secondhand. I love a good hunt. I've always enjoyed estate sales, thrift stores, uh, more recently I've discovered consignment stores. It's important to, to frequent a place as often as you can because stock at these stores is constantly turning over. So whether you find one item one day and 10 the next, it's really unpredictable. When you're shopping secondhand, go in with an open mind, but know what you like. Know your colors, know your taste, know your storage situation as well. Because if you come home with 15 sweaters, it's gonna be a nightmare to sort those out. Uh, one day I was like, I need some margarita glasses for a, a margarita party I was going to. No, none in stock, none at all. So I went to HomeSense, but it's always hard when you're looking for that one thing, it's never gonna be there. I think one of the most important things if you're shopping for clothing is to try it on. So wear items that are quite form-fitted, some spandex clothing is really great, just a tank top, some pants, and then maybe like a cardigan on top. Um, by pants I mean leggings, so key for thrift shopping because then you can like slide things on and off really easily. It's also great for pants because if pants fit over a pair of leggings, you know that you can kind of waver a, a like five pounds or two and they'll still fit. Um, but it's really bad if you're kind of like struggling to pull the pants up. It's like, please just leave them. It's also really important to, to practice. Know your fabrics, know what to look for. So for example, for me, I can spot a good fine knit cashmere sweater from a very far distance. And sometimes I'll even just kind of feel the items as I'm going through the rack. And I love soft fabrics. Who doesn't like comfort? So I always look for really soft sweaters and then hold them up to the light. Look if there are any holes because whether it's, you know, sharp jewelry or moths or, you know, just regular wear and tear, you're going to notice that on the seams and you're going to notice wear and tear. So another really important thing to do is if you're looking for maybe something that's a bit fresher, a bit newer, um, there are little tags on items, especially from like the Gap and Old Navy. There are actually tags right on the seam and they will actually put the year and the month or the season that the item came from. So I love looking in my jean collection. I'm like, oh my God, they're 10 years old. You know, it's really exciting and it's cool if you're shopping at a thrift store and you're like, is that, you know, Gap turtleneck really from the 90s? You can find out easily. So that's really fun and finding great patterned pieces is lovely because you can find a basic t-shirt anywhere. So don't go buying that at the thrift store. Go to Uniqlo. It'll be clean, it'll be fresh, there will be no yellow pits. The worst thing is buying a shirt with yellow pits. Oh my god, so that is the one place I always look. Around the armpits, check for wear and tear or discoloration. Look at the sleeves, look at the neckline. If there's going to be wear and tear on a blazer, it'll be at the neck, or if there's really bad staining, it'll be at the neck. With something like this, it actually, this is a secondhand purchase as well. Both my um, jacket and shirt are. This had a lot of makeup on it. And I went to the front and I asked, do you do damage discounts? Because this is filthy. And they gave me a really great discount. So that was awesome. Of course, it was final sale at that point. I just got home, put some dish soap on the stained area. Dish soap is like the Lord's gift. It will just you know, totally dissolve any kind of um, oil-based food or makeup stains and then just wash it regularly. Total dream. So it's really important to keep those things in mind. Look for wear and tear and don't compromise if you know the item is really bad. If it's like, I know I saw my friend um, Camille, she got like this great designer jacket but it needed some repairs. For me, I don't really love doing repairs sometimes but I would probably leave an item that is super damaged but for her she knew how to fix it and that is super cool because repairs can sometimes cost a lot of money so it might even be best to just find something new. For me I'm kind of shopping for more of a business casual type thing or I just like new looking clothes. I'm finding that buying like super vintage things can just make you look like you're wearing old clothes sometimes but if you do have something that's maybe a little bit more beat up whether it's like a cool vintage pair of shoes a morning t-shirt pair it with a really fresh you know pair of jeans or something that kind of offsets the old kind of rustic vibe of it and that will kind of elevate the look and you're probably going to be good to go if you are looking for leather or purses or good kind of accessories like that these shoes, for example, they are so cute and they're made in Italy, so beautiful. Look for items like that with a nice wooden sole, um, a great block heel, items that are just not 
overly worn and they will last and I think these were something like $12 which in store would have been closer to 200 and I can get new heels put on these I can put you know get the cobbler to put on a new pad on the front here and they'll look great because they're beautiful suede so wonderfully made and those items I can spot from a distance because I know what a good shoe looks like so you kind of got to study you really kind of have to know what you're looking for but in the end feel it if it's kind of weighty and, and looking really good um, that's important try on if you're looking for shoes shoes are kind of hard because you don't want to buy someone's old like running shoes that just grosses me out although you can usually throw them in the laundry I usually avoid any kind of active wear running shoes um, pants that really kind of are tight fitting hell no um, <laughs> it's, it's just that's where it gets kind of gross I'll never buy a secondhand bra or even tank tops too close it's too too personal so those I always buy new I don't even waste my time going through those racks I'll look for the blazers I'll look for the timeless pieces but also some of the trendier pieces because the trends always come back around whether it's a great print that was probably cool in the 80s and is still cool now you can find really nice items like a good floral a good floral is always in and if it's in a colorway that you like forget it if you don't like purple don't buy purple. That is literally my mantra. If I get a purple gift, if it's like a clothing piece, it's not it's not stink because I don't like purple on myself. And you have to be so honest with what you like and what you like to wear because you have to enjoy what you're wearing. I think Jeannie Becker said, fashion is not what you wear, it's how you move through the world. And of course, what you're wearing is part of that. It's all about the confidence and how you feel in your clothes. Please make them comfortable give yourself an extra size up so that you can really work and feel within the clothes just feel comfortable and feel like yourself that's kind of the clothing part of things in terms of accessories I've kind of stopped looking at shoes and bags at places like Value Village consignment stores yes I will look at shoes because that's where I find all of my amazing loafers and really good high quality shoes you can definitely find those through consignment that being said, um, you can sometimes find gems. Um, this bag is actually just from my mom, but if you do find really new purses, that's great, but an old purse just looks gross. Old bags are, are not easy to restore as well, so just get a nice new bag. Get one, get a timeless style, you're good to go. If you are looking for like little evening bags or one-time wear pieces, go thrifting. You'll, you're bound to find a little purse that someone barely used as well. As for accessories, you know I love a good scarf. I will post um, anything below about scarf tying. I should definitely do a scarf tying video. Um, you can just tie it around the neck, around your bag, etc. Little scarves can do so much for a plain outfit. Really make your whole look very expensive looking. As for accessories, I always look at the costume jewelry because you can usually find really nice kind of J. Crew style pieces that just dress up an outfit so well. It's nicer to spend, you know, $8 versus $80 on a costume piece like this. So again, I'll just kind of scan and then pull out things that I really like. Brooches are really fun to buy secondhand. Earrings, rings, I stay away from those completely, but um, sometimes bracelets, but mostly necklaces. Those are good to look out for. Cool vintage finds. These are shoe clips. I should say this is because I lost its pair, but um, I'm actually going to buy a few more pairs of newer shoe clips, but this is an amazing vintage find that literally made my shoe look like a designer shoe. So you literally just clip it onto the front. So this is the bare shoe, it's a little clip on, and it literally looks designer. So, so much fun. Those are great. I'll leave any links below that I have, but um, those cool, you know, retro accessories are amazing. These, last thing I'm going to mention are fantastic. These are actually like shirt keepers. Um, my friend Lee Judd did a video on this cool hack where you put a hair elastic to keep your sleeve up, but look at this. It is actually meant for the act. It is a like bracelet meant for your clothes. You can either put it on a dress shirt or a blazer like this, and it just hangs out right in the crook of your arm, and it keeps your shirt up. Sweater, shirt, blazer, what have you, but it is just like a very posh way to uh, kind of give your outfit a bit more of a casual look. Rolling up the sleeves does so much for a shirt or a blazer that looks just kind of long and, and bulky. Roll up the sleeves, I'm telling you, it makes a huge difference. 
tuck it in, put a belt, it's all of those little things. Belts as well, most of the time you're not going to find crazy amazing leather belts secondhand. Occasionally I found a few, but um, belts you can find on sale at like Banana Republic sale rack. Amazing, I found so many good leather belts there. Or even like Loft, Banana Republic like I mentioned, um, The Gap, they usually have good belts. So find those on sale and use them. Um, I found great ones even at Aritzia, just cool like wrap belts and they will last forever if you get leather ones. If you buy crappy belts, they're going to age in your closet. Like I hate that when you buy, you know, plastic materials and then the next time you take it out it's like cracking and falling apart. Terrible for the environment um, and just garbage. So invest in those pieces. You might be able to find them secondhand. If you find really good ones, they will serve you for life. As for other accessories, I usually don't look at sunglasses or anything like that. I have prescription lenses, so I usually just buy one pair of really nice cat eye glasses, usually from Clearly, and that's what I'm going to stick with. So don't waste your money on little things that don't really make a big impact. I would recommend getting really fun colored pieces, whether it's a nice jacket or, you know, that old style, whether it's a retro shoe or a cool skirt. Pair that with the new. Old and new is the way to go. High and low, the way to go. That's where real style comes out. And that's where thrifting and consignment shopping does you a real favor. I bought a ton of great winter jackets uh, secondhand, and as long as they're in good working order, you can save a ton, a ton of money. Shopping for housewares and home decor and uh, glass items is also a really fun thing for me. So when I am shopping secondhand and looking at glassware or even ceramics, this is not the time to start going cray cray with the patterns or prints or decals on things. You're really going to want to look for beautiful, solid colored items and colored glass is so much fun. And look for details that you like. Look for things that call out to you. Don't just buy stuff for the heck of buying it. Forget about the brand names and, um, you know, the, the quality of it for a minute and just look for things you like and then assess the quality because really important to check for any kind of chips. Only buy items that are in good working quality. You can always throw your glass items in the dishwasher. Just make sure with colored glass, sometimes it's a paint on the top and that can come off in the dishwasher. So wash these more delicate items by hand. I am also obsessed with pink glass. I used to keep all my coffee pods in this gorgeous pink glass jug, but this is something that would be very good for a big picture of sangria. This is just a cool little plate. I love getting very useful things, so very few little creamer jugs come home with me or anything that is purely decorative. No statues, no you know, decorative floral things because we don't need more decor in our lives. It just kind of gets really trashy and kitschy because too much is too much sometimes. Just collecting things that I like and will probably have a use for, but again, not hoarding too much. These are really fun things to even get, like plates and then putting cookies on a secondhand plate and then you can give that plate to somebody and let them keep it because it was only $2. So also keep an eye out for somewhere like Value Village. They often send coupons if you sign up for their emails. So I got 30% off homeware recently and it was outstanding. I got a ton of beautiful frames um, for a really low price. So that's always great. Mix and match. Again, know the colors you like. I won't wear pink very much, for example, but I love a good pink plate. Talking about finding things you like, I saw these great plates at Value Village. I bought two of them. They are in beautiful condition. And then I went to Salvation Army the week after and found the mama tray. <laughs> I could not believe my eyes. I was literally like, oh my gosh. They are so pretty. They came from two different places, but clearly the same collection. And it's just fun if you kind of let your eyes wander. It is a total skill to find what you like, but once you get that kind of radar on and can look out for things that you enjoy, it is so, so worth it. Let me know what you thought of this video. Happy shopping, happy thrifting, save the planet, reduce, reuse, recycle. Be sure to tag me on social media if you do go thrifting and if you need any advice, I'm always here, shoot me a DM. Thank you guys so much. Subscribe for more, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!